Good morning, good evening and good afternoon YouTube. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet another Ireland vlog. We're gonna talk today about the city we live in, Irish town in West Connacht, Galway of course. I've been living here the last five years, she is living here for her whole life. So we're gonna share our wisdoms today uh, a little bit about what it's like living here, would we recommend living here or maybe we wouldn't, you never know. We're gonna tell you today. We sure will folks, stay tuned. You should actually see the intro to this video she started making, but yeah, I'll maybe, I'll put that in actually, yeah. Of course it's focused on me, I'm beautiful. <laughs> uh, hi guys! Oh no, I'm wobbled. Okay, repeat. We are talking about Galway in the west here of Connacht. I can't do this. This is too hard. So why do people pick Galway and not, I don't know, Cork or Limerick? I mean, I'm sure they do pick Cork or Limerick, but yeah. Why would you pick Galway? In my experience, I don't like big cities, so if you're like me, you will be searching for something like this. But yeah, I spent my first two or three days in Dublin and I just ran out of there with the first bus I saw. Picked Galway just because it looked pretty <laughs> in Google, to be honest. Oh, really? For me, I think Galway represents uh, the best of Irish culture. Not just being biased, but I we have so much lively pubs, we have great restaurants, we have like world famous uh, friendly people. World famous? Is that what you say? Welcoming and friendly atmosphere. I'm sure there's friendly people all over the world. Sorry. Got a little bit of a boo boo there because I have a dehydrated piece of gum in my hands. But uh, I truly believe that Galway City is, is a great spot. There's like loads of people like staring back. Why do I always feel awkward when people stare? Maybe because it's something like this. They're fans. I know when I see people filming, I, I I throw like a little eye over just to see what they're doing, but I don't be like... But yeah, um, I think we have great fun here in Galway. We know how to party, we have great food, and uh, yeah, hi guys. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the bin. <laughs> as far as small towns go, I don't think it gets much better than Galway. Literally, from buskers on the streets to the pubs full of live music to the traditional... Uh, traditional also live music yeah every day to the festivals to many 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 theaters and cinemas anything you want you can get in Galway and it's 10 times smaller than Dublin or any other metropolis or <laughs> maybe not metropolis but you, you you get me you get what I mean we have 122 festivals we have the, Gal the Galway races yes we have the Galway races every August but that is a mighty crack if you like to back on a few horses place a few bets Galway Arts Festival that is a big one that has been running since 1978 and there's loads to do in Galway and see yeah, there's loads. There's 122 of them, guys. So yeah, you can pick whatever time you come to visit here. You can pick a festival or an event and surely go to see. Love our pubs. We have great crack. If you like traditional music, we have a van everywhere, every day, on the streets, in the pubs. Uh, some restaurants have like a little bit of a singer guy in the background performing. So if music is your thing, definitely go with City. You may need to take out a mortgage to buy an ice cream, but it's good. We went, uh, we went to that place a few videos ago, and we're never. What? Well, not we? I'm never coming back. I'm going back was delicious. We got two ice creams and paid for, for 20 euros. 20 euros. <laughs> I mean, no, just no. The accommodation here, same as any other part of Ireland, pure shit, hard to find and when you find it, it's expensive and if you find expensive one, it's most likely shit, it's moldy, it's, I don't know, your living room is leaking or something like that. I have a cousin, he just moved in with his girlfriend maybe, I don't know, a month or two ago, he's paying, I think it's 1200 for a, for a flat, which is, I just don't for me, that's rid ridiculous. We are paying the same amount or less, or less. We're paying 1100 for a whole house. Uh, students has, have it even harder. I know some of them are apparently just camping through the town. I've never seen one, to be honest, but I saw it in the newspaper, so it has to be true, right? Hostels, hostels, ho hostels. Even though the hostels now, when you, when you come here, they won't uh, let you stay for a long term anymore, which they used to allow and actually give discounts. Now you're allowed to stay a week or 10 days then you have to switch a hostel if you want to you get what i mean and then you can come back in a week one of you actually i met uh, last weekend klaus thanks thank you for watching and reaching out reaching out and hanging out but yeah he got here last week 
he actually got a job in like two days. He got three jobs. He's working already, one of them, not, not three. But yeah, he's been changing hostel yesterday because he can't, he's not allowed to stay in one hostel more than a week. So yeah, accommodation, shit. I'm totally buying a van. I'm getting a van and me and himself are going to hit the high road with it or we're going to park it on uh, a piece of land by a river so I can learn how to fish. No, I know how to fish, but I don't like killing the fishes. But we're definitely going to get a van and then we're going to pay zero rent. Just live the life, nomads. That's all I have to say about that. I made him turn on the <laughs> this contraption just to fill on that little tiny patch. And that's all. On to the positive side of things, the job opportunities are endless. Literally, I just said Klaus again. Sorry if I'm taking you as example too much, but yeah, he got here last week and he got three jobs in the meantime. I mean, it's that easy. You just can't, can't be picky for your first job when you're getting a PPS number and things like that. But yeah, it's not a problem finding a job here. And I think those three job options were quite nice too. They were like, you know, you can do fruit picking, you can do like, driving cars and trucks or you know if you have some sort of um i think actually you know you need to apply to drive like uh, a public thingy we can, oh yeah we have a video about that if you want to know more about jobs in Galway and in ireland i'll link our five reasons to work in ireland video somewhere down so you can check that out I love how himself assumes that I have the memory of this very memory person, which I don't have. <laughs> He's like, just say this Lorraine, and he blabs all this blab blue out, and I forget everything he said. So we're going to do it my way, which is basically whatever word comes to the front of my foretell cortex. I think that's the front part of the brain. So basically what I'm trying to say, guys, is that we have a Patreon. If any of you guys are interested and you're going to walk into a poll. VIP treatment. If you sign up for our Patreon, we send uh, you videos first before they go live to everyone else. And we get the odd bloopers in there every now and again. And so I think it's fun. I think it's worth it. It's like uh, only a few euros. Uh, what's our minimum? Oh, car. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Minimum is like 350 and that is the price of a cup of tea, a coffee or a sticky bun because I love buns and chocolate. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys are interested, the link will be at the bottom somewhere or on the corner. If you will pop it in somewhere and we will be so happy and grateful for anything that you can provide. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you loved it, there's no heart button, but we can pretend there is. Uh, subscribe and yeah, to be continued, dot, 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 dot. Very erotic. I don't know, it's just a quick exit when I feel awkward. It's easy. It's like when you're an Irish person going to a house party and you want to leave, you just say, yeah, I'm going to go to the toilet and then you take your jacket or you leave your jacket depending on the scenario and then you slyly leave the house and go home and get yourself a bag of chips. It's called the Irish goodbye, we had that in a video. It's called pulling the slip. Next thing I wanted to talk about is transportation, both in Galway and to and from Galway. So coming from Dublin or especially Dublin airport, which is important to me, is super easy and there's loads of buses. No complaints there. Internal transportation, another story. Bus here, completely, completely, I don't know what's the word, like complete opposite of punctual. It, that's what they are. We need to cross the road yes. and it like oh let's go bus here wow don't, don't trust any of the timetables there's just pure shit drivers ah uh, some of them are nice i was convinced most of them are ni nice i'm not anymore there's a lot of idiots there and people who shouldn't be doing that job it's so so but it's easy to come here and then use a bike or something don't, don't use bus here a crowd of asses driving for that company <laughs> a crowd of asses yeah see that's Sorry. that's <laughs> That's a genuine Irish opinion on it, so she's been here her whole life. I guess that counts for something. I don't know why, but at least 99.9% of them are just not great in customer service. And I think that will be a customer service role because they're serving. Of course it would. And they're just so temperamental, like, and they're be shouting and roaring at you. And rude. The word is rude. Rude. And you'll be standing up in the middle of the, you know, to get out and then they'll pull off and they shut the door and you're like, well, even just the most basic thing, they're, they're just not good drivers. I mean, the the way they start and stop when they're going to or from a station, it is ridiculous. They Or, of course, they don't wait for the people to sit down on a bus. You can be in the middle of the stairs. It's just, 
I don't know. They told me the bus was, I think, was 190. So I had two euro and he said, I can't give you 10 cent change. And I said, well, if I was 10 cent short, would you let me on the bus? And he said, no. So I don't wonder, I can't, like doing the maths, it's like, okay, you won't give me 10 cent change, but it's okay to not let me on the bus. What would you do in that situation? Come on, comment section, tell us. And uh, oh, actually, tell us what's the, not just public transportation, but yeah, let's stick to bus Iran. <laughs> tell us what's the bus Iran experience in your time town. I'm assuming they, they do public transportation in Paul Island. I might be wrong about that. Actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, we do. Okay. On the positive. Okay. We, 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 well, there's a positive. We'll I'll let her do the positive. We'll get off the, the cranky train. Well, actually, that's just for our part of town. It comes every 10 minutes. It's pretty sweet. But say other parts, the buses aren't as frequent and they are very delayed. But I think we do have a lot of options and price-wise, I think it's relatively okay. Everyone uses Leap Card here. I don't know what you guys use in your country, but it's basically like, it's a frog card. So it is cheaper to use this than it is to pay in cash. So on another side note, if you guys decide to come to visit Galway or anywhere in Ireland within the cities, you can use this on Bus Erin and it's cheaper. Irish food, not boring. There was a comment on more than one of my videos saying the only thing more boring than Irish food is Irish weather. It's not true. Some great places to eat in, in Galway. Fish and chips, McDonald's, pizzas, what's the name? <laughs> Do Dobro's, the place of our first date, which I didn't know it was a date, but yeah, a nice place. Oysters. Market a place on Saturday, every Saturday, go and eat oysters. They're fantastic. Everything from stews to their, okay, potato sandwiches. Not really a fan of that one, but yeah, I don't think Irish food is boring. That's my point. Come here and be open-minded and try everything and you will like it. And the gravy, oh yeah, her mom makes a wicked gravy. Is that how Americans say it's wicked? It's wicked. It has a slap on it or something. I don't know what, don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that was food and uh, the, the lady behind the camera actually is gonna tell you now about what she called a true Irish people because apparently there's false ones too. I don't know if it's a ginger person, a ginger person, a ginger thing, but this sun is killing me. We've had it for the last three weeks and I'm blinded from it. True Irish people. For me, a true Irish person is when you are going into a bar and you see this really old person that's sitting there having a Guinness and he's cute as hell and he has all these heartwarming stories of when he was growing up here in Ireland and it really tops it for me when he says he's from Clada. Clada is one of the oldest fishing villages here in Galway City and if you look back in history and you check out old Clada and the fishing village it's something different it's very i don't know it's very unique for me to meet a true irish person and listen to their stories and buy them a drink is like the the smallest little thing but the biggest pleasure for me uh, i think irish people were fun we're loving we're warm we're welcoming we love sharing stories and talking about life and we love music so, so you think there's a lot of those people in Norway? i think so i think if you go to a bar predominantly bars because we like to be there <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to meet these guys standing out in the rain but like even uh, old Irish women they just have nice stories and I don't know there's just something very warming about meeting an elderly person that was raised uh, here in Ireland that worked on the farm you can relate with them you can talk about the bog and all those tough times and yeah it's nice and that's your Irish town in West Connacht I hope you like this if you like this video press the like button if you didn't press the dislike one if you loved it, press the subscribe button, check our Patreon, it helps us a lot in our goal of being full-time full full YouTube YouTubers one day. And we will see you in the next one, won't we? We're buying a boat so we can and live buying on a boat. the Clada to be true, even though I'm not a Clada person. She saw a boat docked here and now she thinks she, she can live on a boat. She would be sick. She can't live on a boat. Anyways. Say bye to people. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. Guys. Love you. See you all in the next one. March. Stay cool. Bye.
Everybody loves ice cream Well, rock, rock my baby now Susparilla, Susparilla, Pepsi Cola Pepsi Cola, Pepsi Cola Everybody loves ice cream.